Well, I'm pretty happy about how this um, uh, IB pointless literal crystal cell turned out. And uh, I've got it running a pulse motor here. And the little capacitor stores up the energy between the pulses on that pulse motor. It's operated by a little reed switch. But uh, this, uh, this is pretty impressive. Uh, the cells that I made before with copper and magnesium, um, they worked quite well until the magnesium went bye-bye. And uh, it's galvanic. But when I added the crystalline structure on this, it's uh, the borax uh, with the salt substitute in it allowed to crystallize. And then on top of those crystals, I used uh, alum and distilled water and then drove the water off and left the alum crystal on top of the borax crystals. This seems to have enhanced this cell. And the capacitor right there is uh, used to hold the energy between the pulses and let the energy build up. That's what that capacitor is for. But I'm pretty impressed with how this is performing. And uh, I ran this last night, I don't know, four or five hours like this. And then uh, it uh, went down to about a volt and the pulse motor stopped, but it would still run on oscillator. But the minute that I get this uh, saturated again with the borax and uh, distilled, I'm sorry, alum and distilled water, this comes right back up to about 1.8 volts and then drops down to about one volt as it dries out but it does not seem to be deteriorating and I think that's the borax um, that's causing that I don't know but anyway we'll see what happens on this one but uh, it's pretty impressive uh, for that size of a cell to run this pulse motor like this that's the sound of it right there And I'm thinking about uh, encapsulating this in the epoxy, like this one here is. And this one is still running uh, quite nicely, what this one sounds like. And that's uh, that one's well over a week old, and I'm not heating this one. I'm just leaving it alone. It holds about one volt. But um, I'm thinking about encapsulating that in epoxy and just seeing what happens if you actually trap the moisture inside that or stop the reaction at a certain point, which is I think what happened on that one, is it just froze the reaction at a certain point and uh, slowed down the ion exchange to the point where the metals didn't deteriorate rapidly. And that's what I'm after right now is is if we can make these little uh, galvanic cells using crystalline structure so we can control the ion transfer in such a way that they last a long time, uh, my feeling is who cares? Who cares how that's happening as long as it lasts a long time and they don't cost a lot to make and they're uh, a great little project. So uh, anyway, that's where I'm at right now. I was rather impressed with this IB Pointless uh, literal crystal cell. Thanks for watching.